Buying a car is a big moment in anyone's life, but what happens when that vehicle is not fit for purpose? In this video we'll go over the circumstances in which you can get a refund for a new or used car. If a new or second hand car you bought develops a fault, you could get it repaired or replaced at no further cost to you by whoever sold it to you. If it's a relatively minor repair that's needed this could be a good option. However, if the vehicle ends up having extensive repairs or very deep and serious faults, this might not be something that is preferable and most people in this circumstance would want a refund. It's important to stress right from the outset that you can't get a refund just because you've changed your mind or because there's an aspect of the vehicle that you no longer like, such as the colour, the fuel type or anything along these lines. There has to be an actual flaw or fault with the vehicle. How you go about addressing the problem depends largely on how you bought the vehicle. Whether it was a private purchase from an individual or if it was bought from a showroom and a car dealer. When it comes to private purchases, the phrase buyer beware is very relevant. The buyer is expected to make all their checks before the purchase and any issues with the car including repairs won't be able to be done from the private seller. This applies to almost all circumstances unless you can prove there has been material misrepresentation. The private seller lies about the condition of the car in for example the advert itself or when you ask them questions this could make them liable to refund or repair. But it's very difficult to track down the identity of the buyer, uh, the seller, sorry, in these circumstances, where they're based, their address, all of which is needed to enforce your rights. Bought the car in the UK and it doesn't excrete your expectations, you benefit from the Consumer Rights Act, which gives you the right to return the car or have it repaired. When you buy a new or second hand car from a UK dealership, the Consumer Rights Act stipulates that you can expect the following. That the vehicle will be of satisfactory quality, taking into account its age and mileage, meet any description given to you when you are buying it, and be fit for purpose. There's no exact definition for satisfactory quality, but you must be considered the age, price, mileage, description applied, and all other relevant circumstances when trying to decide what is satisfactory quality? If the vehicle's advert clearly mentions the flaws or the vehicle is sold at a much lower market rate than you'd expect for a car of that age, then that would most likely be considered already having been factored into the condition of the vehicle. However, if you've paid full market rate were never ever given any indication of any kind of flaws with the vehicle and you purchased it from a garage or showroom, then your chances of obtaining your refund or repair are exponentially higher and it is something that you can pursue. When you are complaining, some of the things that you really should consider are, let the seller know as soon as possible that there's something wrong with the car, try to be as specific as possible, but absolutely as soon as it comes to your knowledge, you must let the seller know. Notifying the seller of the problems as soon as possible protects your rights and it records the situation. You should always make this initial contact in writing. Remember to remain calm and express your issues in a professional way. If this matter ends up going in front of a court, you do not want the judge seeing all kinds of inappropriate materials. Another really good tip is to keep a record of all the exchanges between the parties this should include emails, the advert, brochures, the sales invoice. If any verbal comments or agreements have been made, you should make a note of these as well in writing. Generally speaking, this is one of the worst experiences you can have, depending on how much price you've paid for the vehicle. Having it not meet your expectations can have a tremendous impact on your day to day life, not to mention your mental health. Therefore, if you do require any help, please feel free to drop us an email, give us a call, and we'll be sure to make sure to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, like, rate, and comment, and we'll be sure to make more very soon. Thank you.